Hi there, welcome to our channel. One of our loyal subscribers, you'll know who you are, mentioned to us that it might be worthwhile doing a little tour of the property so you can get a better understanding of what we're talking about when we mention tier one, tier two, etc. So hopefully this helps. I'll try and get a little plan drawn up uh, to overlay in the video. Can't promise that. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so we're going to start the tour at our front gate. So we'll swing around, watch the sun, sorry. So we enter the front gate into what we call the top garden. Lots of pine trees, probably need some work, but we'll sort that when we sort it. We've got a nice long drive up to the pool sort of fry area that you can see in the distance there. I tell you, we've got grass under here, but it's very, very difficult to keep it going, especially in the summer months. It gets really, really hot. We water approximately six and a half hours a day already as it is. That's the greenhouse, a bit of hydroponics in there that we were playing around with last year. Uh, more on that in a later video. This is the area which we had our raised beds and growing section, but it was too small for what we were eventually planning on doing. Excuse the mess. I'm busy getting ready for summer. And summer arrived a little bit sooner than anyone expected. Uh, we've been up in 37 degrees the last few days, which is unseasonably hot for this time of year. We've moved all of the bamboo out from behind the pool. We're getting ready to paint. Um, we're going to be painting this wall here on this side and on the other side before we put the bamboo back. And then after that, we'll be doing a bit of piling of stone effect on the front wall at the bottom. So moving down the driveway past the pool and the mother's house, down to the gate into tier one in the distance that you see over there. Uh, generally, on average, we do in excess of 10,000 steps a day in this place. Over here on the right, we'll take a turn in here. This is what we refer to as the orchard. Sorry about the glare. We've got a whole lot of olive trees in the orchard along with fruit trees. Oranges, pears, peaches, plums, lemons, grapefruit. Oh, what else we've got? Mulberry, white and red. Uh, plums, I've said that. We've also got, oh, I can't remember the name of that one. It'll come to me later, I'm sure. That's the shed. That's where the woodwork happens. That's the garage where the mess happens. <laughs> Too embarrassed to show you inside at the moment. Pomegranate, bush, tree. We've got a couple of grapes planted down the fence along the side there. As you can see, difficult to keep the grass green. Although we have had problems with the sprinklers, which I've resolved, hopefully. So it should look better in the next week or two. And now we'll head back to the gate into Tier 1. Tier 1 is where we've got our vegetable garden sort of sectioned off from the chickens. They love getting into the vegetable garden and scratching everything to pieces. So here's the gate. Yes, it needs sanded and painted. Okay, so this is tier one. It's where we have the chicken coop and the maternity ward. We've got one chicken sitting on eggs at the moment for about four or five days. If you look down in the distance there, you'll see the gate out to tier two. We fenced 
tier one on both sides. There was no fencing here when we bought the property. So this is fully enclosed. There's a compost heap that we're building. Hopefully we can use it next win uh, next next season. End of this year, basically, I guess. And then we fenced off the vegetable garden from the chickens. Because as I've said, they love getting into the chickens and scratching everything to pieces. Hoop house, as you can see, filling out nicely. And then we go through the gate into the vegetable garden. And this is where the magic happens. Lettuce are coming along nicely. Those are going to seed and providing us with uh, lots of seedlings. Broccoli everywhere. <laughs> and this is the vegetable garden of tier one. We've just got so much fruit coming on these vines. Tomatoes. I don't know what we're going to do with all of them. Let's have a look at this. And row <laughs> upon row upon row of tomatoes. I think we overdid the tomatoes. We've got about 150 tomato plants. Cucumbers are going great guns as well. We've already harvested some. I like this hanging garden concept. Easy to see the fruit and easy to maintain. So this is the rest of the vegetable garden, which is part of tier one. It's a sunflower potato bed. Accidental bed, kind of. Entrance to the hoop house. Everything's going great in here. Lettuce taking off. Anyway, this is not a growth update, this is a property tour. So, this is the rest of the vegetable garden in Tier 1. Temporary fence over there. I've got to go and get some 2 meter fence so we can make sure the chickens cannot get in here. I don't really want to clip their wings. Okay. Hello, Frankie. How are you doing, girl? Where you been? Hmm? Do you like that fish? Okay, so we'll head out of the vegetable garden. Back into the rest of tier one. I can leave the gate open because the chickens are locked away. I'll close it on the way back. Messy, I know, I know. And the chickens like to hang out in this corner over here, which is quite shady during the day. So I made up a stand with one of these chicken dribbler things in the bottom. What we do is we freeze the Coke bottles and we come and swap it out a couple of times a day for them so they've got nice chilly water to drink. So we head along the wall which separates tier one and tier two over to the gate. another watering station I built for them. Same thing applies, it's full of water. We just fill the bottles up with water, but I'm thinking maybe I should freeze bottles and stick those in for them as well, keep it cold. Hmm. Good idea, maybe. And here we are at the gate between tier one and tier two. Okay, so this is tier two standing with the gate behind us. Tier 2, I'd say, is roughly the same size as our top garden. It's where we've got the mealies planted, corn for the non-South Africans, and also the melbuck bed, which is a bit further up here. I'll take you up there quickly.
Okay, so hopefully that helps you understand a little bit better what the layout of the property is. And uh, you can understand what we're talking about and where we're talking about when we mention tier one, tier two, vegetable garden, top garden, etc. Um, thanks for watching. Oh, and uh, hey, hang on a minute before you go. Uh, I'm assuming you've all subscribed, but have you remembered to hit the like button? Here's a bit of bonus footage of tier two that I said I wasn't going to bother with. Take care and stay safe out there, everyone. Now this piece, as I said, is about the same size as our front, no, sorry, our top garden. Lots of space for more growth. But to be honest with you, I think we've got our hands full at the moment. 20 beds, I don't really want to be planting anything else just yet. Maybe a, some additional crops for the chickens. But we'll wait until next season for that. This is us walking further up to the back of the property. Stone wall in the distance is our boundary. We're busy fencing the property in on this side. And we've got lots of wood chip material over here that we need to get cleared up and uh, chipped. Mandy needs a chip around her vegetable beds and cards. We haven't been up the top here with the mower as you can see. We're going to have to get that done in the next few days and get all of this cleared up. Olive trees are all looking good. Looks like we should have a bumper crop this year. We did a hard prune last year in March. So this year should be a full bountiful harvest. Lots of olive oil. And that's us walking back down from the top of tier two towards tier one. See the vegetable garden in the distance, through the trees, behind the fence. These, this <laughs> rockery strategically placed over rocks that we don't want to go over with a mower. Here's a bit of TLC, like most things. And on the other side of the meadies are the compost bins. They need a bit of work. I might actually come out to have a seat and toss it. And that's basically it. Hopefully that gives you an idea of what we're dealing with. And uh, maybe you'll commiserate with us with how many steps we have to do every day. This is a lifesaver. Acre and a half of grass, I don't need to cut. One of the best things invented since sliced bread.